Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Do you ever notice when you're in a conversation with someone, a religious conversation, sooner or later, the questions and doubts about the Bible's authenticity or its truthfulness start to come up. And you start to hear the same questions that float around everywhere. You know, it, these could be the questions that come from coworkers or that you see out there on the internet or even from your own family. Um, questions like, is the Bible really true? And, and didn't people just make up the Bible hundreds of years later? Or, you know, aren't there lots of different contradictions in the Bible? Or didn't just a group of, you know, angry men sit around a table and then decide which books of the Bible to include and which ones to exclude? How do we trust a book that's thousands of years old? And how do we know that certain things didn't get lost through different translations over time? I mean, where is the proof that we can place our trust in this book? And I would just say the majority of people that make these claims about the Bible, saying that they're filled with error or filled with contradictions, they actually know very little about the Bible. The fact is people that have read it, people that have studied it, are constantly amazed at its truthfulness and its accuracy. So that raises the question, why do people then attack the Bible? Why are there critics about this book? Well, because lots of different books are fun to read or enjoyable or relaxing or take you to another place. But the Bible is a book that actually makes claims on how you live. All kinds of books in our life are enjoyable to read, but at the end of the day, they don't make a demand on you. They don't ask you to change your life. The Bible, on the other hand, makes some pretty big claims. It makes claims about who God is. It makes claims on the way someone finds God. It makes claims on how you should live your life, how you should spend your money, how you should raise your children or run your business or retreat your spouse or make decisions. And most importantly, it makes claims on what you should believe. And I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but people don't like being told what to do. So if you can discredit the Bible, if you can poke holes in it, if you can raise questions that make people doubt it, well then you can just throw it off and say, you know what, I don't have to obey that book. I don't have to pay it any attention. And then you don't have to give up your old life. This Sunday at Walden Church, we're gonna talk about the way God reveals himself to us, the way God speaks to us, how he's done it all through time. We're gonna talk about the doctrine of revelation, and we'll definitely address all these questions that people have about the Bible. This Sunday, we hope to show you the Bible is accurate and authoritative, and hopefully leave you with this question. Will you believe the Bible? and its claims on your life, and when you dig into it, read it every day to gain direction and guidance from God. This Sunday, we have two opportunities for worship. We have a 9.30 service, which is traditional. We sing hymns, we have a choir, and we have our 11 o'clock service that is more contemporary with the worship team. And we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. We wanna be your local church. I'll see you there.